taking a class can be very, very exciting because you're going to get to learn a lot of new material and be immersed in new technology with new students and meet new colleagues. The problem and where a lot of the anxiety comes in is taking the exam. The class is fun, the exam is very, very stressful, so what we wanted to put together uh, as part of the SANS Institute is just some tips and tricks for getting certified, especially under DOD 8570. One of the first things to remember is with the GIAC exams is their open book. However, they're timed and you must answer a question before you move on to the next one. Therefore, time is not on your side. So if you think you're going to spend three to four minutes trying to look up every single answer to every single question, you're going to run out of time. So the first thing we recommend you do is index your books with a lot of post-its. Go in and highlight all those key sections and make sure you understand where that material is across the different books. Second, all the material you need to know to become certified we cover in class. But that means that you actually have to be awake in class. And I know that seems obvious, but if you go in and leave for two or three hours every day or you fall asleep, it's not going to work. So one of the tricks that I recommend you do is go in and have index cards. There's going to be new material that you've never seen before. So I recommend going in and writing down questions of information or data you don't understand and if you get through an hour section and you didn't ask any questions or you don't have any idea of what this is happening then you maybe need to stop regroup and pay a little more attention because the material we hit in the class goes very very quick so you want to make sure that you're not falling behind and you're not being left in the dust Second, I recommend have two or three highlighters with you, a yellow, a pink, and a blue. Information that you know but you want to make sure you stands out, put in yellow. So yellow is material you're just emphasizing but you already understand. Blue would be information that you do not know and you want to be able to have. So blue is eventually what's going to turn into index cards and become part of your study tip. I recommend that you always carry 30 to 40 index cards in your pocket with you every day because everybody has a couple of minutes where they can study. You go to a meeting and you arrive early. You go to your boss's office and they're on the phone. You can just pull out your cards and start flipping through them to be able to get up to speed on that material. And then finally, the last highlighter is information that you don't understand and you need to read in more detail, ask the instructor or research on the internet. Then once you get through class, we recommend that you read those books two to four times before taking the exam. We pride ourselves at SANS on giving a lot of details in the notes and you need to be able to read and understand everything that's there. Then once you do all that, use the practice exams to test your knowledge. Now the practice exams are a little easier than the real exam, but if you're scoring in the high 80s or 90s, then you're probably ready to take that exam. Last recommendation is, even though you're given four months, don't look at it and try to stretch it out. I usually recommend that you want to go in and take each test within two to four weeks. So after the class is over, you spend two to four weeks studying for the first section, pass the exam one, then spend two to four weeks studying for the second, pass the second exam, and then you'll be certified. The more you procrastinate, the harder it's going to be for you to get certified. And as always, SANS has plenty of resources in the portal account to be able to help you pass, one of those being the audio. We give you the full audio for the entire class and what most students do is put it on your iPod. You probably commute for at least an hour a day. You might exercise for an hour. You have time where just have that information and just listen to it over and over and over and it will start to sink in and become part of your way of thinking. So when you get to the real exam, the answers will pop right out at you. And now taking the exam can be a fun and rewarding experience, not high anxiety. 
I hope you enjoy this and remember all of this information if you want to be able to do additional review outside of class is available and on demand. On demand is a great resource where you could go through audio for each slide and be able to study and this is something you would sign up for separately but we found is a huge benefit with the audio and the practice exams to be able to pass. So at SANS we give you on demand, we give you practice exams, we give you the course material, and we give you the audio. So we really try to give you all the resources possible for you to be able to apply that knowledge when you go back to work and get certified. Thank you.